Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Stealth and So Cards. Previous videos were pretty well received. I liked interacting with you guys on there. And today I have a new one. Name a country or culture you wish you knew more about. Now, I'm not going to be answering this one alone. I got Sparky here with me. And we're going to be answering this thing together. Having a bit of discussion about it. And since it is a conversation starter, let's see where it takes us. So Sparky, where would you, or what would you like to know more about? What culture? Um, I suppose I was thinking about it and, uh, you know, a lot of places are quite like, like Irish society has been, um, influenced by both the United Kingdom and the United States, I suppose, like a lot of places, you know? Yeah. Um, so I kind of thought about where I, where wouldn't have been influenced by those countries. Okay. Um, and I suppose some of the Middle Eastern countries would be a, a place I'd like to go. I was in college with a guy from Kuwait. And, um, you know, he kind of was explaining his culture and stuff like that and how it was a bit different. And I, I suppose I, I'd like to go and see what those countries are like and right. and, and, and delve into, um, I suppose, you know, <clears throat> Islamic culture or things like that as well. Because it, it, it does interest me in a way to see what way different people do things, you know. Right. So. And what particularly about those cultures would you want to learn I don't know. I suppose there's nothing in particular that interests me. I mean, I like food, <laughs> so <laughs> so the food aspect could be um, could be something to to, to delve into. But um, you know, there's nothing in particular that that really you know jumps out. But it's just as opposed to the whole the whole culture itself would be in, of interest to me. If you get me, just kind of you know a day in the life of someone who lives in those countries and what are in, in you know in Kuwait or, or Saudi Arabia or whatever Iraq whatever yeah, exactly. what 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 do they do? How do they go about their daily lives? You know. Yeah. Um. You know, it's, I'm sure it's very different to what I do. I, I you know I get up in the morning, and I have a cup of tea. I'm sure they get up and have a cup of tea, but it's an entirely different style of tea or something. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Things like that, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, what, exactly. way do, what way do people, how do they do things, you know? How do they go about their days? Yeah, and I think that's an interesting point because culture is not exactly just about, hey, how do you do things, but also what do you do during a day? Mm. What's your daily rhythm like? What's your work like? Uh, what's office culture? Because I think that that's going to be vastly different from what we're used to here in the West as well. Mm. And I believe everybody's just trying to get by as best they can, whether you're exactly, yeah. over here, Saudi Arabia, Australia, wherever. But it's just so, so very different. Yeah. I'd like to know a little bit more about um, Indian culture. Uh, yeah. A friend from over there. Mm. We've been in touch for the last five years, and she came over at some point, and um, we went to get, I think it was dessert at her hotel. Because she knew that they had a very good restaurant with some very nice desserts. So we were chatting along there, and um, I was going to park the car, which at uh, Schiphol Airport is uh, a fairly expensive business. As one can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it's most airports. And she was like, hey, why can't you just park the car on the side of the road? Um, yeah, that's apparently something that they do over there. You're just going to be a couple of, I don't know, minutes, maybe a half hour, an hour, and it's all right to leave your car wherever you want. They just abandon the car on the side of the road and that's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there was no car by the time I got back. <laughs> yeah, you were, yeah, well, I suppose maybe, is that is that a, a difference in culture as well that you can look at in terms of, in the West, you'd be afraid to leave the car somewhere, like, like even just abandoning it on the side of the road to go in for five minutes into a shop to buy a, a carton of milk or something, you'd be afraid because... Are we afraid of people just jumping in the car and driving away? Which seems to maybe be, I don't know. Not, not as, so much as, that, but I'd have my car towed if I let it be. Well, there's there that as me. well. But I mean, well, I mean, I suppose in I, I don't really live in a massive city, so I can just pretty much park the car wherever I want. Yeah. <laughs> but but in in I, I I get what you mean. Yeah, I get what you mean about yeah yeah yeah. I mean, the car would be towed, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, but stuff like that, where you start to encounter, like, hey, this is actually quite different. Mm. And um, we had the same, th or actually my wife mentioned it. She had a um, colleague who is an intern over there. And the intern was tasked with going to uh, visit a couple of different teachers at the school where she works. So to see how they organize their lessons. And one of them said, hey, you're always welcome to join. Um and 
she took this as I can join whenever the hell I like. Mm. So she sent her a text and saying, hey, I'm coming to uh, join your class today. And she was like, hold on, you cannot just announce that you're going to be coming. This is something yeah, yeah. That we usually ask. So the first thing that I was wondering about is, hey, what's her background? What's her culture? And um, it turned out that she was, um, I think, from Suriname culture. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think that they're far more hospitable, if that's a word. Um, yeah. They're far more used to probably people just walking in and out and um, yeah, being I, I, have, I have quite a funny story about that, actually. Or, well, not it's not really a story, but it, it, it's it's kind of what we were told when we were going to do this. But um, as people may know, I'm, I'm involved in the Scouts. And yeah. um, we I went to what is known as a World Scout Jamboree in uh, 2011 in Sweden. And uh, it, it had 38,000 Scouts from around the world meeting in this one spot okay and, and just an example of how people got there was uh there was eight scouts that cycled from uganda to okay. sweden right Jesus. so they went up That's through sudan and all that kind of places yeah wow. and it was impressive and i met a couple of them and they're really nice guys but uh, anyway, <clears throat> that's not the story. We were told going out by the leaders because we, we we would have been i would have been 15 at the time or something like that you know and uh the leader said uh you need to be very careful when you're conversing with people from other cultures and other countries because you don't know what you might say might a offend them or b uh be taken up the wrong way right yeah so like that um there was stories told to us where uh scouts had gone to irish scouts had gone to a world scout chambery in in chile in uh, 1996 or something like that okay <laughs> and they had said to, they had met some uh, Nepalese scouts or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly where they were from, but they were from that part of the world. And they were kind of chatting away and they got very good friendly with them. And they said to them, uh, hey, guys, anytime you're in Ireland, in, we, like we kind of make this joke of the shirt. Anytime you're in Ireland, pop in and we'll let you, we, we'll give you a bed to stay. And it's kind of, it was kind of a sarcas sarcastic kind of a thing, but not sarcasm in terms of taking the piss out of these people, just kind of having a laugh and a joke with them, if you get me. Okay, yeah. And uh, about three months later, these guys turned up on the doorstep of uh, oh. one of these fellas. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> un completely unannounced and said, uh, you said you'd give us a bed to stay in and all this kind of stuff. Where's so it's bed? funny. It's it's funny how, how that can that can be misinterpreted, I suppose. But it, it, it might necessarily be like if I was talking to someone from the United Kingdom in that circumstance or yeah. from the US or Australia or I suppose the, the English speaking world. Mm -hmm. um they would have understood what I meant. Well, maybe not the American, but um, yeah, do you know they, they would have understood? I suppose what I was getting at, or what 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 what, what not me, but what that person was getting at. Yeah, Whereas exactly. I think if if like like that, as I say, from India or or Japan or Russia or somewhere like that had said it to you, they they do you know if you had said you know you're more than welcome to come along, um, they would actually might take it more seriously and actually do turn up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so, yeah. um she really invited me to stay at her place in India if I'm ever over there. Mm. I wonder if she'd take it as um offensive if I refused because I know that some cultures are so extremely focused on hospitality and being a good host mm. that it might come off as offensive if I say no sir I'm going to rather stay at a hotel. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> that's that's an interesting point as well I suppose, you know that that um, a lot of these people are out there to be polite and to be, and it, it's what's drilled into them with some, from when they're young, yeah. as you say, be very hospitable. So you could think that they would take it off to, or take offense to that fact by saying, you know, um, oh no, I'm okay. I'm going to stay in the local hotel or I'm going to, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that or whatever. But you know, yeah. whereas in Western culture, that'd be more normal and you don't want to be a burden on anybody mm. else. Or exactly. Family. Yeah. 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 It's interesting how that works. Like we would be, we I suppose Ireland is seen as a very welcoming country. Um, mm -hmm. We were called the land of a thousand welcomes or whatever it is. But like, it's not as yes. If someone came along and you were like, if you say for example, if you came to Ireland and and and, and I knew you were coming, I'd say I, I'd pull out all the stops for you. But it's it's different if someone just arrives and says, oh hey, that's that's <laughs> <laughs> let me stay in your house, like you know. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I, I, you're right with that. Western culture is just, I suppose, it's 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 different. We 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 would stay in hotels. We would um, 
we wouldn't want to put a burden on anybody i suppose you know exactly. it wouldn't be in our in our nature on uh, and it's odd because you wouldn't want to put a burden on like say for example if i was going to the netherlands i wouldn't want to put a burden on you and your wife yeah but like if we were going to a hotel, you'd be more than happy to put the burden on the people you're staying in the hotel because, oh, that's their job. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and, and yeah, subconsciously, yeah. that's even though you might say, oh, geez, I wouldn't be like that. Subconsciously, you are like that. Not not you in particular, but everybody in the way in the West would be like that. You know, yeah. that, oh, it's her job or his job. Let that you go and do that for me now. Whereas if I was going to your house and stay in your house, I'd be very careful not to, uh, you know, tread on anyone's toes or anything. Yeah, exactly. You no. Know? And I think that too many people are just entirely unaware of cultural differences or not keeping them in mind when they're interacting with each other. Mm. I've seen it happen on my channel as well in the comment section. Stuff that just gets misinterpreted. Uh, somebody's being sarcastic or mm. playing it off as a joke. And somebody else takes it very, very seriously. Uh, we've, we've, we've both seen it a couple of times in terms of, you know, yeah. when we were when we were playing... Um, when we were playing Airland Battle and doing the campaign, we were having yep. a laugh and a joke about something, and and uh, I was probably being sarcastic, or you were being sarcastic, and we yeah, knew we were being sarcastic, way. and and it got completely taken the wrong way by a couple of people. It wasn't just once or twice it happened; it happened a couple of times. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you know, people getting offended by things, and you kind of need to just take things. Uh, unfortunately, I think if you're going to be watching, um. If you're going to be watching people on 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 YouTube, you need to be willing to, as much as we need to be, I suppose, careful not to insult people's cultures too heavily. Yeah, uh, they need to be prepared to have parts of what their culture is insulted, maybe you know, and 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 and, and that's meant in 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 a jovial kind of a, a laughing sort of a way, not 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 being serious. Like I'd never I'd never turn around and say, you know, for example, I'll, I'll use Ireland as an example. I'd never turn around and start, you know being very very specific about what i'm taking the piss out of or do you know what i mean i wouldn't be very yeah. direct about it i wouldn't be saying you know oh you're all potato eating scumbags like do you know what i mean and being yeah, yeah. serious about it because it's just not my nature but some people seem to think that you know anything that's said online is meant in a serious way and they just need to be very um careful of what you know they're they're listening to or, or listen to it carefully and see is there a hint of sarcasm in it or whatever and i suppose that is a cultural thing you know maybe that's definitely a cultural thing, and you cannot interpret everything if you don't know the culture. Mm, exactly. So, as much as us content creators need to be careful about what we say, I'd say also have a warning for the subscriber saying, hey, this is my channel, this is how I do things, and this is yeah. my culture. Uh, in my culture, this is understand such and such. Mm. Yeah, it's like an there is, discussion. There's an awful lot of, like... Particularly on YouTube, I suppose I've seen it. Guys doing videos of I don't know. Um, let's take FIFA for example, right? Yeah. And they're doing they're doing um, videos on you know they're building a career mode team or something like that, and they turn around to say, well, I'm not going to bring any players in from you know I don't know. Yeah, from Nor Northern because... Northern Ireland or whatever, because they're all shite players or they're all bad. You know, that's right. and that that could be taken up the wrong way completely by someone. You know, sure. when they're probably only having a bit of a joke. Yeah. Um. But anyway, yeah, that's just an example, I suppose. But yeah, and I think that happens all the time. Hmm. All right, I'm going to turn it over to you guys in the comments. What is a culture or culture that you would like to know more about, or you wish you knew more about? And what do you think about the whole cultural differences thing on YouTube and beyond? If you have any good stories, let me know down below in the comments. And I'll be seeing you again next week for the next question. Thank you for watching. See you soon for the next one.